If you go to the Austin Police Department headquarters, you're going to find what's called the Municipal Court Officer's Waiting Room. Every day, that room is filled with police officers, okay? And every time I pass by that room and there's cops in there, what do you think I do? Huh? I walk in, I say hi, and I start talking to people. Why do you think I do that? A, because I, it starts with a C, ends with an E, and there's an AR in the middle. <laughs> care. Not only do I care for them, but I care for myself. As a leader, should you be the last one to find things out? I drive my assistant chiefs crazy. <coughs> I know more about the people that work for me in less than five years than some of the chiefs know that have been here their entire careers. Why? Because I take the time, every time I go past that room, I walk in, she knows it, she witnesses it, and I talk to my people. And I always learn a little bit about them. And guess what? When you bring up that little tidbit of the person that works for you, hey, you find out that somebody's son is going to to Stanford or going to university and you, hey, how's your son doing at Stanford? Three months later, how do you just make that employee feel? Do you care, right? When, when you're a leader, do you have to make unpopular decision yet, decisions on a regular basis, yes or no? So you have to build what's called emotional capital, which means you gotta do a lot of good things because there are gonna be times when you have to do a lot of unpopular things. So every, by, by doing these things, taking the time to care, to pick up the phone. Before I got to the Austin Police Department, if an officer got hurt in the middle of the night, do you think the chief showed up? I'm going to give you the answer. Nine times out of ten, guess what? Nobody showed up. Well, we change that. We respond. The police chief responds. The commanders respond. And what are you building? You're building emotional capital. Now this is an old, old saying that I want you all to remember. There's something that you're going to learn about what I've been describing where I, I walk in there and I say hi to the folks and how's it going and I go up to my chiefs and I go, hey guys, I, a little birdie told me this. It's because I'm practicing what's called management by walking around, right? As a commander of the East Los Angeles Station, I had 150 officers below me and I had an entire command. Every day, the first 20 minutes of my day, guess what it was spent doing? Walking around the station, saying hi to people, and engaging my people. Because two things are happening. You're opening lines of communication, which are informal lines of communication, or, and two, you're building that emotional capital. Does that make sense to you guys? Management by walking around.